Wonder in science. I'm not the greatest student in the world. I know some kids like school, but I can't say I do. Some parts of school like PE and computer and lunch and recess, but I'd be fine without school. And the thing I don't like the most is the homework. It's not enough that we have to sit through class after class and try to stay awake while they fill our heads with stuff we might not need to know. But I've never heard my parents say the word kinetic in my entire life. I dislike science the most. We get so much work and the teacher, Ms. Rubin, is very strict, even the way we write our headings on top of our papers. I once got two points off on a homework assignment because I didn't put the date, date on top. When me and August were friends, I was doing great in science because he sat next to me and let me copy his notes. He had the neatest handwriting of anyone I've ever seen. Even his script is neat, up and down perfectly, which is really small, round, loopy letters. But now that we're not friends, it's bad because I can't ask him to let me copy his notes. I was kind of scrambling today, trying to take notes about what Miss Rubin was saying. My handwriting is awful. When all of a sudden she started talking about the fifth grade science fair project, how we all had to choose a science project to work on. While she was saying this, I was thinking, we just finished the Egypt project. Now we have to start a whole new thing. And in my head, I was going, oh no, like that kid in Home Alone with my mouth hanging open and his, my hands on his face. That was the face I was making on the inside. And then I thought of those pictures and the melting ghost faces I've seen somewhere with the mouths wide open. And then all of a sudden this picture flew into my head, this memory, and I knew what Summer had meant by the Halloween costume. It's so weird how it all came to me in a flash. Someone in homeroom had dressed up in a Halloween costume for the movie Scream. I remember seeing him a few desks away from me and then I remember not seeing him again. Oh, it was August. All of this hit me in science class while the teacher was talking. I had been talking to Julian about August. Now I understood. I was so mean. I don't even know why. I'm not even sure what I said, but it was bad. And I just, it's just that I knew Julian and everyone thought I was silly for hanging out with August all the time. And I felt silly. I don't know why I said that. I was going along. Oh, he was supposed to come as Boba Fett. I would never have said that in front of Boba Fett. But that was him, that Halloween costume sitting at the desk, looking over at us, the long white mask, the mouth open. That was him. I felt like I was going to puke. Partners, I didn't hear a word of what Miss Rubin was saying after that. Blah, 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 science fair, blah, 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 partners. It was like the way grownups talk in Charlie Brown movies, like someone talking underwater. Wah, 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 wah. Then all of a sudden, Ms. Rubin started pointing to kids around the class, Reed and Tristan, Maya and Max, Charlotte and Jimena, August and Jack. She pointed to us when she said this, Miles and Amos, Julian and Henry, Savannah and I didn't hear the rest. Huh? I said. The bell rang. So don't forget to get together with your partners to choose a project from the list, guys, said Ms. Rubin as everyone started taking off. I looked up at August, but he had already put his backpack on and was out the door. I must have had a silly look on my face because Julian came over and said, looks like you and your best bud are partners. He was smirking. I didn't like him right then. Hello, Earth to Jack Will, he said when I didn't answer. Be quiet, Julian. I was putting my loose leaf binder away in my backpack and just wanted him away from me. You must be bum you got stuck with him, he said. You should tell Miss Rubin you want to switch partners. I bet she let you. No, she wouldn't, I said. Ask her. No, I don't want to. Miss Rubin, Julian said, turning around, raising his hand. Miss Rubin was erasing the chalkboard at the front of the room. She turned when she heard her name. No, Julian, I whisper screamed. What is it, boys? She said. Can we switch partners if we wanted to, said Julian. Me and Jack had the science fair project idea we wanted to work on. Well, I guess I could arrange that, she started to say. No, it's okay, Miss Rubin, I said quickly, heading out the door. Bye. Julian ran after me. Why'd you do that, he said, catching up to me. We could have been partners. And you wouldn't have to be friends with August if you don't want to. And that's when I punched him. Detention. Some things you just can't explain. You don't even try. You don't know where to start. All your sentences would jumble up like a giant knot if you opened your mouth. Any words you used would come out. Jack, this is very serious, Mr. Tushman was saying. I was in his office sitting on a chair across from his desk and looking at the picture of Pumpkin. Jack, kids get expelled for this. I know you're a good kid and I don't want that to happen, but you have to explain yourself. 
This is so not like you, Jack, said Mom. She had come from work as soon as they had called her. I could tell she was going back and forth between being really mad and really surprised. I thought you and Julian were friends, said Mr. Tushman. We're not friends, I said. My arms were crossed in front of me. But to punch someone, Jack, said Mom? I mean, what were you thinking? She looked at Mr. Tushman. Honestly, he's never hit anyone. He's not like that. Julian's mouth was bleeding, Jack, said Mr. Tushman. He knocked out a tooth. It was just a baby tooth, I said. Jack, said Mom, shaking her head. That's what Nurse Molly said. You're missing the point, Mom said. I just want to know why, said Mr. Tushman, raising his shoulders. It'll just make everything worse, I sighed. Just tell me, Jack. I shrugged, but I didn't say anything. I just couldn't. If I told him that Julian had called August a name, then he'd go talk to Julian about it, and Julian would tell him how I said something bad, too, and everyone would find out. Jack, said Mom. I started to cry. I'm sorry. Mr. Tushman raised his eyebrows and nodded, but he didn't say anything. Instead, he kind of blew into his hands like you do when you're cold. Jack, he said, I really don't know what to say here. I mean, you punched a kid. We have rules. Automatic expulsion, and you're not even trying to explain. I was crying a lot by now, and the second Mom put her arm around me, I started to bawl. Let's, um, said Mr. Tushman, taking his glasses off to clean them. Let's do this. We're out for winter break as of next week. How about you stay home for the rest of this week, and after winter break, you'll come back, and everything will be fresh and brand new. Clean slate. Am I being suspended? I sniffled. Well, he said, yes, but it's only for a couple of days, and I'll tell you what. While you're at home, you can take the time to think about what's happened. And if you write, want to write me a letter explaining what happened in a letter to Julian apologizing, we won't put any of this in your permanent record. You can go home and talk about it with your mom and dad, and in the morning you'll figure it out a, more, a bit more. That sounds like a good plan, Mr. Tushman, said Mom. Thank you. Everything's going to be okay, said Mr. Tushman, walking over to the door, which was closed. I know you're a nice kid, Jack, and I know that sometimes even nice kids do silly things, right? He opened the door. Thanks for being so understanding, Mom said, shaking his hand. No problem. He leaned over and told her something, quietly, that I couldn't hear. I know, thank you, said Mom, nodding. So, kiddo, he said to me, putting his hands on my shoulders, think about what you've done, and we have a great holiday. Happy Hanukkah, Merry Christmas, Happy Kwanzaa. I wiped my nose with my sleeve and started walking out the door. Say thank you to Mr. Tushman, said Mom, tapping my shoulder. I stopped and turned around, but I couldn't look at him. Thank you, Mr. Tushman, I said. Bye, Jack, he answered. Then I walked out the door. Season's greetings. Weirdly enough, when we got home and Mom brought in the mail, there were holiday cards from both Julian's family and August's family. Julian's holiday card was a picture of them, him wearing a tie, looking like he was about to go to the opera. August's, August's holiday card was of a cute old dog wearing reindeer antlers, a red nose, and red booties. There was a cartoon bubble above the dog's head that read, ho, ho, ho. On the inside, it said to the Will family, Peace on earth, love, Nate, Isabel, Olivia, August, and Daisy. Cute hard card, huh? I said to mom, who hardly said a word to me. I think she honestly just didn't know what to say. That must be their dog, I said. Do you want to tell me what's going on inside your head, Jack? She asked me seriously. I bet you they put a picture of their dog in the card every year, I said. She took the card and looked at the picture. Then she raised her eyebrows. We're lucky, Jack. There's so much to be we take for granted. I know, I said. I knew what she was talking about without her having to say it. I heard that Julian's mom took August's face out of the class picture, and she gave it to a couple other moms. That's not very nice, said mom. People are not always so great. I know. Is that why you hit Julian? No. And then I told her why. I told her that August and I weren't friends, and I told her about Halloween.